Hi, this is Mark Laughlin speaking for the Ambidextra Gunfighter. I was looking at uh, securing my pistols, uh, especially pistols that often rest at my bedside, from my grandson who's turned uh, just a little over one years old. And so little hands are getting a little uh, to where they're exploring the world quite a bit. So what I found was a, a smart uh, furniture lock, a biometric fingerprint reader lock that you can add into your own like your own furniture a desk drawer a cabinet and I'm uh, gonna use this on my cabinet on my RV and so when you get this and you I've got a link down in the description where you can get this from Amazon but it comes with the little fingerprint reader and uh, then of course the uh, electronic lock that the reader hooks into and then a strike plate and, and the screws you need to mount all this stuff. So uh, very affordable, I think it was like about $25. And uh, so basically what I did to make things a little bit easier, I, I just removed the door from the cabinet uh, so I could get it out, uh, have better access to it. Uh, it's kind of in tight quarters in my RV so that I can, you know, drill holes in it and <laughs> drill one hole in it. It does require drilling about uh, a 5 8 inch hole I think they said a 15 millimeter hole which worked out to about 5 8 inches so I basically centered it and positioned it about uh, level with the, uh, the cabinet handle so I marked it and then uh, and then uh, drilled a 5 8 inch hole and just went slowly so I didn't splinter anything and then insert the fingerprint reader into the hole, insert the cable through there, and place the fingerprint reader. And then you flip the cabinet door over, and from the back side, you use kind of a retaining clip. You run the run the wiring harness through it, and then uh, two tiny screws secure the retaining clip. And um, here I've got my my little fabulous Keltec uh, mini screwdriver. Uh, screwing in the little tiny screws into the back of the fingerprint reader and then you have two other screws on the outside of this wing that you can actually uh, screw down to the cabinet itself although it would stay in place with just the just that flange held in then you want to check your uh, wiring harness and so you've got to make sure that you you put it the right direction and the easy way is to think of uh, the little contacts need to face up so they're facing up here, and um, and it, it's kind of difficult getting the fingers in there to plug that in, and just make sure it's uh, you know nicely seated. And then once that's done, once you got the plug in, the little wiring harness in place, you can then uh, flip it over and route the wire under the slot in the electronic lock, and you can screw the. Uh, the electronic lock to the door to the back side of the door and it uses two uh, two screws that come with the lock and once you've got it screwed in place then you can um, insert the uh, three AAA batteries and just make sure you get the polarity right on them and then once you get the three batteries in then the the battery cover just snaps into place and then after that the next step is to program the thing to, to actually recognize your fingerprint because when it comes from the factory it basically will open on any any fingerprint anything that touches that the fingerprint reader will open it so until you program at least one fingerprint into it it uh, won't uh, it will open for all fingers so use a little tiny pin to push the little kind of button in there and then once the blue light comes on that means you can give the, your fingerprint you submit it five times and if you get a good clean submission on five times then the green light will stay on and that's you've now entered one of one fingerprint you can enter up to 40 on this particular model and you see right there the, the latch is out and so here I go I try to submit my fingerprint two errors there we go got a green and now the latch is retracted and it'll stay retracted for I think three or four seconds so now we'll go install the strike plate inside the cabinet itself 
and uh, I you know put the thicker part of the stripe plate plate facing out so that because uh, that's where the stress would be uh, some you know say it, it, I mean this is not meant to be a really secure lock like to prevent theft I mean if you really uh, and then uh, it won't prevent theft but uh, it's just to keep you know a little bit of privacy and keep uh, hands out of it you know little young kids and stuff so I mean you could rip this door right off here or unscrew the hinges and do it but uh, as you can see if you don't if I, I don't have this fingerprint recorded but I do have this one and there we go and it unlocks so I've so far have uh, I have three fingerprints added in and I could add more and even add more on each individual finger just to make sure that each uh, each finger is properly read so anyway um, it was pretty easy installation just uh, move slowly and t and precisely and and in no time no time you'll have one of these uh, biometric locks on a cabinet and secure your pistols or or other things from young children it's mark laughlin speaking for the ambidextral gunfighter please like share and subscribe thanks for watching